Hello friends! Hey everybody! The title of this thumbnail is not clickbait, but it's don't not. worry, everything's okay. I'm hiking the Pacific Crest Trail. He's walking all the way from Mexico to Canada. Crazy. And it's been obviously a really big decision and there's so much that we have to explain. Um, we're going to talk about what's going on in Landon's life and why he made this decision and then how it's impacting me and what's going on with me and then ultimately what this means for our relationship. Yeah. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead and make yourselves a heartwarming cup of coffee or tea. Whoa! <laughs> a heartwarming <laughs> cup of tea or coffee. Grab your coziest of comfy blankets. And let's dive in. Yes, let's do it. This decision Believe it or not, it was not an easy one to come to. First off, what does it even mean? I guess we haven't conveyed that this is going to be a five to six month long journey for you. Yeah, yeah. So it is a trail from Me the Mexican border to the Canadian border through California, Oregon, and Washington. And it follows the mountains all the way. 2,650 miles. It's and impossible to fathom. You walk it. Yeah. You hike it. It's something that I've always wanted to do, but what got me here ultimately was reaching a breaking point. And I had worked at my job in a fluorescently lit windowless office for five years. It was not only the job that, you know, broke me down, but that environment every day for eight, ten hours a day you can't come home and just switch it on. Yeah, it just drains him. And for every bit that Landon became less alive, kind of like depressed. Yeah, and zombie-like. Uh, yes. I became work-obsessed and like unhealthily focused on that aspect. Yeah. And we just kind of... We're both in our separate silos that were not good for us. It wasn't good for either one of us individually. It wasn't good for our relationship. And this was obviously something a long time in the making. And Landon and I have done, we've tried to do things to get better with our like intentional date nights and taking time for ourselves to just, you know, practice hobbies and do the things you're told you're supposed to do to be happy. And I was trying to make my work work for me trying different avenues to like take walks during the day and you know ride my bike to work have a morning routine have a morning routine and ultimately just the fact of the matter is that environment was not what i need it was like toxic he worked with really great people but yeah. it's just i feel like this is the case for so many people and it feels wrong to have a good job and not be okay. You yeah, know? Maybe yeah. Maybe you can speak to that. Yeah, yeah. When you work with great people, but the the nature of the job is dull and not good for your spirit, it doesn't matter how good the people are if that role is stifling you. It's okay to not be okay in that setting and to need more yeah to want more like i know it's confusing because we're told that you should be okay but you weren't okay and it, to be honest it was so hard to recognize that i wasn't okay it was such a slow demise of my spirit and i think this happens to a lot of guys like we are supposed to be the the strong ones that kind of hold down the fort and like we just go to work and we get it done and we come home and like that's that's our role you can break free of the cycle if it's what you need you can do it and it's not dishonorable i trust that pursuing what makes me feel the most alive really will be the best thing for me it'll be the best thing for mo it'll be the best thing for my family and friends for everyone and it's hard to find role models for, for me. Like, for men, especially. So many of the men in my life that I admire have just buckled down and made it work. 
and I'm a little bit different in that regard. I, that was not something that was good for my mental health, good for my physical health, and or good for my relationship. Yeah. And recognizing that it wasn't what I needed was so hard, and it took reaching that breaking point. When you can't see the color of the leaves on a walk, you're in deep, and it was recognizing how deep in I really was that I saw I can't let this go anymore and I need to take real action. And Mo asked me, what, what is that? What do you need to be okay? Yeah, and I said, I just want to go build a fort in the woods. Out of just pure desperation, that was all That's, that I could like find. Yeah, that was just like this little voice inside that was like, I need <laughs> to go and be outside. And I am forts. It's your inner child, I guess. Yeah, and I, I mean, I am an outdoors person. I'm not meant to be in a windowless office. No, and you're so bright and full of life. Like, that's your natural state. This isn't yeah. the, what you had become was not who you are. Yeah, and just following that thread in conversation led me to saying that I wanted to hike the Pacific Crest Trail, and I, it just resonated so deeply yes immediately <laughs> immediately he said that and it just felt so right because it's a full commitment to myself you have to take care of yourself or die <laughs> it, it, on the trail yes and it's a survivalist like it's you in nature it's scary to commit all the way like that it's scary to commit to going all the way in and I am trusting that I will, I will show up for myself yes. and in that I will show up for Morgan more than I ever have before even though I'm going away for <laughs> five months and it seems so counterintuitive. It, I was asking myself, is this the right thing to, to leave for five months when I feel like I'm not showing up for Mo? That was, that yeah. was the initial conversation starter was Mo, I'm not showing up for you. So I'm going away for five months. Like, <laughs> But it's so much deeper. It's him not showing up for himself and then not being able to show up for me. Yeah. And this is letting you, you have no choice but to show up for yourself, like we said. And yeah, there was that big uncertainty at the beginning in making this decision because we both were in such like a hard to be place in our relationship. We've been together for nearly eight years. We've been together for our, our entire adult lives mm -hmm. and in relationships you go through highs and lows and this was, I would say, our lowest low, both individually and as a couple. And it is quite scary to have spent our adult lives together and to be in this low low and decide that the best thing for us individually and as a couple is to have this space in such a big, big way. Obviously, this is a huge adventure for Landon. He's doing this epic thing. Um, I'm staying at home, but it feels like just as much of an adventure for me. Obviously not physically, but as you guys know, if you've been here for a while, I really struggle with being alone. I have never ever actually been alone in my life. I lived with family until I went to college and then I had a roommate for four years, roommate slash best friend. And then Landon and I have lived together ever since then. And so this five, six months will be the very first time ever in my life where I am entirely alone. Obviously I'll have Monsieur Rue and I have friends, but it's, it's the first time that I get to experience being alone and being okay, really, truly. And the first time in my adult life where I will have only myself to look out for, obviously I love Landon and we're a team, but it's, I think it will be so special to just be able to be with myself and take care of myself and... I'm excited for the power that that gives you. It, it's yeah. empowering for yes. you to be strong and independent and 
I, I just love imagining you be feeling so confident. Just and safe as I am. Yeah. And it mirrors your experience. You're yeah. saying that he's saying the same things about him, how he yeah. wants to show up for himself and take care of himself. Yeah. And that's what I'm doing here too with myself. And I just think that we will both experience so much very necessary individual growth apart <laughs> and in the end of it, hopefully, definitely come together and have grown yeah. and then have a better relationship as a result. Yeah. And that kind of segues nicely into a point we, we're coming to understand and that's, it's okay to do, to have to work hard for your relationship. Your relationship. Yeah. yeah. It's okay if your relationship needs work. Nobody has a perfect relationship. It's, it's like, you. I feel like society just, there's just so much pressure to just be happy ever after, you know? And your relationship isn't necessarily bad if it's hard. Obviously, it's unique to certain situations, but with us, we're just, I guess you could call it a quarter life crisis, whatever we're both going through, it's just been really hard. Some, sometimes that's just how it is. Yeah. It's, life is. Life is sometimes difficult. You get curveballs. You're not happy where you're at and you have the power to change that and you have the power to change that with your person. And it's not always easy, but if you want to enjoy life with that person, then you do yeah, the work. It's, you do the work yeah. with them. And I guess it's, no, it's four or five years ago. At this point, I was at rock bottom and I was totally lost and totally broke in so many ways. Terrible self-confidence, such strong self-hate and just no money, nothing figured out, totally lost. It was hard, it was really hard. Mo was in a darker, a, a dark place. A really dark place. Yeah. And Landon, during that, supported me. And now, the roles have reversed. He's diving fully into this, and now I get to support him, and I get to hold us and support us. And this is just speaking to the cycle of it all. Like, you definitely have your highs and your lows and just trust it and listen to your gut and the dance of life just dance yeah <laughs> um it's really special and it's really scary the more prepared we become for it the less scary it becomes but i still have my oh my goodness moments yeah definitely <laughs> i mean we're uh one day out from me departing he leaves tomorrow <laughs> And it is pretty unreal. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, and I'm sure there are so many questions that you guys have that we haven't answered. I will continue to answer these questions over the course of the summer. This is going to officially be my solo girl power summer. <laughs> We're gonna have a great, empowering, getting comfortable being alone and showing up for ourselves summer. Both Same here. <laughs> Mine's a, a walking boy summer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I will catch you up on many unanswered questions throughout the course of the summer. But in the meantime, I think that somebody needs a haircut. Ooh, I don't want to have to wash this hair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I still, I'll still wash my hair. I promise. But I don't want to have this much hair to wash over 2,600 miles. It's long. It's oh so my long. gosh. Let's take care of this. He's going to donate it. And he's <laughs> asked me to cut it. I have never cut. I mean, I've trimmed his hair, but I don't know how to cut men's hair properly. Um, so if, if you would like some further entertainment, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and cut his hair. So let's have some fun with you the haircut. You want to cut it in here? It's already set up. Oh yeah, let's just do let's it right, do it right here. here. Okay. Yeah. Hang tight. Hang tight. Let's go get those scissors. <laughs> Are you nervous? Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Don't, Why don't, didn't you go to a, like a barber? Don't cut it super I'm short. Cut it right here. Is that a good length for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should do a little bit more so that I can chop. <sighs> ah! Just in the top middle, you're gonna. 
start with the top middle? I guess so. I mean, it's the only place to start, I guess. I'm so scared, Leanne. Are you sure? I'm sure. I want short hair for the track. Oh, I'm so nervous, though. Me but too, do it. Too, do it. Too, too. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. Oh, it's, it's done. It is done. It is done. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is official commitment. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh no. Uh. Oh my god. Look at him. Uh, hello. <laughs> I am. Uh, I'm it's, sweating. It's good. It's good. Okay. Well. <laughs> That's the hard part. Oh. Wow. What a commitment. Well, you're a different person. Already? Now. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. And then, like, rain gear, uh, a lightweight. Holy cow. That's a. That's a lot of hair. Wow. Jeez. Oh man, this is nice hair. I'm just so so happy that I grew this. You know? Yeah, that kid, you made that. You've done a lot of training. Yeah, I've done a, I've done a lot of strength training um, for my knees, my feet, and my hips. So a lot of stability. I don't know what I'm doing, but it looks good. Heck yeah. I don't know, like... I love that you just did this. <laughs> it's so special. It is kind of special, isn't it? Yeah. That one felt a little off. <laughs> kind of felt like, like... I might have a bald spot there. You <laughs> definitely have a bald spot. Oh my god. It will grow out, trust me. I mean, you're the one trusting me, so... Yeah. Uh, so, these, you see these? You already cut that? Yeah. Everything's trimmed down, I just layer it and fade it, and I don't know how to do that. I'm trying to fade it so that you don't have a bowl cut. Because uh, that's what you have right now. Is it? Yes. Thanks, Mo. Hairdresser Mo, who's hiring? Ooh, look out. Oh my gosh, I'm doing it! It looks good! Here, you want me to like fluff it a little bit? Does it look good? <laughs> well, like, just, you know, evenness-wise. Uh, no idea. Okay, well, it feels good. So the best way to do it is to start by like uh, draw flip, the line. flip it over and draw the line, yeah. And then you go up to that. <laughs> this is where Rue's been the entire time. So handsome this monsieur. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Who is go. this man? Look out! Nice job, Mo. It's all right. You did good. It's good that you guys can't see this too clearly. <laughs> <laughs> and then this side. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Spring brings all things new things. Sound sights, fresh lights, and I might just be alright. New me, new you, we'll see. Warm sea, swim free, sing free, be free. Oh, sending all my love from the top of Mount San Jacinto. Spring. 
brings all things new things. Sound sights, fresh lights, and I might just be alright. New me, new you will see. Warm sea, swim free, sing free.